Hello everyone. I made a video and I believe the title of it is my marriage problem. So I don't think I really have to dig really deep into that. But um, I was very, very hurt and very shocked as well. But I started, I usually seek God anyway, whether things are good or bad. I usually will pray for myself or pray for other people. That is what I do. But anyways, I have been seeking God about my marriage problem. And... <clears throat> I believe things happen for a reason. A person can say, Kevin, you know, you shouldn't have, you know, blah, 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 blah. But I believe things happens for a reason. Now, off the top of my mind, my head, I guess I can say. I believe one of the reasons, or maybe some of the reasons why this happened, which I may not be able to tell you every reason why it happened, but I believe there is a lot of positive, excuse me, that came from this bad situation. I believe I told God many times Maybe in a, I believe I told God many times that I don't want to be an ordinary Christian. Because what is the point? I pretty much told God more than one time, or maybe people. Let's say I declared it more than one time that I want to raise in higher levels in Jesus Christ. What if what I am going through is helping me to accomplish that? Maybe I would not seek God as much, as much, if everything was okay. Like for instance, Let's say there is 100% peace in your life. How much would you really pray? How much would you really fast? How much would you really seek God if there was nothing bad going on in your life? So if you are not really communicating with God much, how is your relationship with him? Like, would there be closeness? For instance, if you call yourself, if you call me a friend, let's say we don't talk, <laughs> like you don't really say anything to me, like you don't even come by and visit, like you are not asking around concerning me, how are we friends? Like, what type of relationship do you have? But if you are calling me on the phone, if you are coming by the visit, if we are exchanging, I guess, words or whatever like that, I believe, and as I speak about it, I am feeling a sensation right around here. I believe that is that can be considered, I believe that can be considered friendship. So maybe, maybe, I am not saying in every case, maybe one of the reasons we may go through problems, in some cases, I guess, for us to get closer to God. Have you thought about that? So 
I can say, you know, my wife this, my wife that, blah, 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 blah. But that may be only the surface view. The deeper view could be closeness to God. Because quite honestly, I think that is true. Quite honest, quite honestly, I think it is true that, I mean, I believe it is true that the more problems I get into, the more I run to God. So if there was more peace in my life, I would still pray. I would still, you know, research about God and stuff like that. But when there is a big problem, which you all may not know everything that is going on or have had went on. Because of the situation I am in, I would be foolish not to continue seeking God. I hope this is making so much sense here. I have asked God to heal me emotionally. You know, yes. You know, there are times I cry. Some people may say, you should not tell someone or tell the enemy, you know, that. Some people may say, I should not say that. Some people may say, I should not say that. But this is my journal. And maybe this will help you. Maybe you are going through a similar thing to me. So let me say it. You know, um, so there are times, I believe more so in the past, I would cry about what happened. You know, there are times still where I tear up, but I believe God is healing me more and more about what happened. You know, I probably could dwell upon what happened and stay depressed, but what good is that? What good is that? Okay, that and that happened. What should I do? Should I stay on that? Like, should I begin hating? Should I hold unforgiveness? Should I, like, you know, stay in pity parties? I don't want that. I want to move on. I want to forgive, which I believe I have forgiven. And I am moving on as well. I am. Is it easy? No. But by me giving my burdens to God, it is making things so much easier. I am not going to sit here and say, you know, when I found out, blah, 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 you know, it was no problem. I don't care. That is not the truth. I do care. Why would I marry someone and not care? Like, you know, I was not in an arranged marriage. No, I chose her. I was the one that said, um, in so many words, I want to marry you. So I chose. I can't blame anyone but myself in that aspect. Because I thought I knew what I was doing. And who knows, probably that was meant to happen. So I am not going to be angry at God. And God, why didn't you stop it? You know, you could have stopped the whole thing. Why did you have me continue on in this? And I mean, why did you have me even marry this woman if you knew what was going to happen? I am not angry with God right now. I am not angry with her. I am not. 
I am trying to look at positives, hello, in a negative situation. I hope this is making sense. I believe some people have been praying for me. And if you have been praying praise to God in a good way, I thank you and I accept them. I don't accept any witchcraft prayers. I don't accept demonic prayers. So if you have been praying to God in the right way for my good, thank you. I really do appreciate it. So you may be going through something similar to me. Maybe the circumstances are a bit different, but the end result is maybe similar. Because of what happened to you, don't fall back into sin. Don't give your life over to sin like, hey, I am so hurt, so I am just going to do so many bad things. Now, don't do that. Because I believe demons were trying to influence me to go out there and do some mess, but I am not about that life, meaning I don't want anything of it. I don't. Just because the enemy may have captured someone that was close to me, doesn't mean I have to follow too. Just because, like for instance, if if your husband jumps off of a bridge, would you follow? Like, hey, that is my husband. He is doing something crazy, so I am going to be crazy too. No. If my mom, brother, cousin, aunt, uncle, whoever, don't serve God, does it mean I should not serve God too? No, we have to continue to look at Jesus Christ. Not so much look at people and what I mean by that, well, because this person and that person isn't serving God, so I am not going to serve God too. No, keep your focus, listen now, keep your focus on Jesus Christ. Yes, this pastor may fall into sin. That evangelist may fall into sin. Your best friend may fall into sin. Your wife, your husband, husband, your cousin may fall into sin, but keep on looking forward. Look upon, so to speak, look upon Jesus Christ. Don't become influenced to do what is wrong because of this and that person. No, keep looking forward. Like have, what are those things that horses have um, to have them look straight ahead? Blinders or something. Like in a sense, have blinders on. So this person over here may do what is wrong. This person over there may do what is wrong. It doesn't matter. Yes, you can pray for these people, but look upon Jesus Christ that is right ahead of you. Keep on looking forward. Put on those blinders. Look straight ahead. <laughs> I am saying something here. I am truly saying something. Everybody in my family, everybody in my country can stop serving God. But I tell you this, I am going to try very hard 
to continue serving God, even if everyone else stops. That doesn't matter. It does matter, but to the effect to where, well, they aren't doing it, so I am not going to do it. No. Yes, I am going through a hard time. You know, but what can I do? I can't change the past. I have to deal with how things are now. So I can't change what happened, but I can do something now about it, which I am doing. I am seeking God. I am praying. I may have to fast. I am doing stuff now. And this is what you need to be concerned with as well. Keep your mind on what you can do now. The past is pretty much the past. Deal with what you can do now. God bless you all. Let me stop here. God bless you.